Here's how to replicate the ancient Egyptian mummy sound in Bitwig Studio. Here's the original that I've uh, found online. And here's my imitation of it. Not exactly the same, but it's a close enough approximation that it's interesting to look at how it's made. So, to start off with, I'll disable all these devices here. And I'll disable this uh, modulator. I've just got polysynth uh, with a single saw wave and a 12 dB per octave low pass filter to take away some of the harshness. Then I'm going to add some pitch modulation by activating this modulator, which is just an ADSR envelope modulating the pitch by eight semitones. Then I've got a resonator bank here, and I'm only using the first four resonators, and the final two are disabled. They've got their volumes all the way down. The first four all have their gain set to 0 dB, or what should be zero, close to 0 dB. Resonance is all set to 14, which I think is the middle value. And these four frequencies I've taken from the original research, and I'll post a link to that article in the description. <coughs> And then I'm adding a blur with just 25% mix. This is kind of like a very tiny reverb. Actual reverbs are often made out of loads of devices like this chained together in parallel. That just gives it a bit of space. And uh, yeah, that's the entire signal chain. You could probably get closer to the original by reamping this or using some kind of cabinet or speaker simulator, because from what I've read, they actually recorded the output of a speaker rather than doing this all digitally. Not a super useful sound, but very interesting to read how they made it. Essentially just measuring the shape of this guy's throat. So if we make these notes a bit longer... We can see that... If we play around with the global frequency offset, we can get some weird vocal tones. And you could obviously modulate that. In summary, the resonator bank is acting as a formant filter. It's just a very interesting and historical example of how to generate vocal sounds.